When performing a biopsy, it's essential that both the radiologist and radiographer carefully review the case in advance, together. There is also one golden rule. Try to use the projection which gives the best view of the lesion and also the access route with the shortest distance from the skin, making it as comfortable as possible for the patient. This will facilitate targeting, optimize timing and therefore increase success rates. In this clinical case, we have a cluster of pleomorphic microcalcifications on the right breast, outer quadrant medial breast. In the tomosynthesis images, we can see the precise location of the lesion. To decide the best access, let's take a couple of measurements. In the craniocaudal view, draw a straight line from the lesion to the skin, outer quadrant. This is 5.17 centimeters. Sitting position, horizontal approach, external access could be a possibility. In the lateromedial view, draw a straight line from the nipple to the lesion. This gives 3.78 centimeters. Since breast thickness would allow a vertical approach, and considering patient comfort and shortest approach, lateral decubitus, external access, is selected. Select the patient entry in the work list and add all necessary information as required. Type of procedure, breast laterality, type of lesion, projection. Select Tomo Biopsy Protocol and add a stereo pair. Start the biopsy exam. All materials needed for the exam must be prepared in advance. The patient is positioned for a lateromedial projection, vertical approach, external access procedure. The measurement taken previously on the lateromedial projection image is replicated on the breast to facilitate positioning. While positioning, special attention should be paid to patient comfort. Adequate breast compression is applied. Acquire a tomo biopsy sequence. Raw projections are displayed, followed by the tomo images. Scroll through the tomo images 
to select the plane where the target is displayed. Select the target. Confirm vertical approach. Observe the breast pictogram indications, breast thickness, target distance to breast support and skin, as well as the target coordinates X, Y and Z. Select the Encore 113 full notch 10G needle and confirm needle values. Click the Send button to send coordinates and needle characteristics to the biopsy positioner. Proceed with skin disinfection. The operation panel shows the target ID and needle characteristics. Press OK to confirm. Press OK to confirm vertical approach. The target information is displayed. Press the target button to drive the needle holder to the selected target coordinates. Insert the Fuji needle guide holder and lower it down. Inject surface anesthesia to be followed by depth anesthesia. Acquire a tomo biopsy sequence for retargeting, since the target might have shifted due to the injection of anaesthetic. Scroll through the tomo images. Since the lesion has shifted in relation to the initial target, a new target is added. Select the target. Confirm vertical approach. Observe the new breast pictogram indications. It is decided to use Encore 113 full notch 7G needle since the procedure can be completed with a smaller number of samples. Needle is selected and values confirmed. Click the send button to send coordinates and needle characteristics to the biopsy positioner. Confirm target ID and needle characteristics. Confirm vertical approach. The target information is displayed. Press the target button to drive the needle holder to the selected target coordinates. Attach the Encore 7G needle guide. Insert the 7G Encore probe pre-fire position. A stereo pair is acquired to check needle tip location versus the target. The needle tip is approaching the target. Fire can be completed. A new stereo pair can be acquired to compare pre and post fire images. Sampling is started with full notch, dense option activated, four samples.
When sampling is completed, the Encore sample basket is removed and a new one is inserted. Samples are arranged in the sample support for X-ray imaging. The X-ray image shows calcifications in the samples. Samples are representative. The use of a tissue marker is recommended to locate the site of the biopsy for follow-up imaging. Select the marker tab. Replace basket rear cover with the marker adapter and introduce the marker applicator through the probe internal sheath. Make sure the applicator yellow marker aligns with the red probe marker. Push the applicator firmly all the way to release and deploy the tissue marker in place. Touch the rotate button on the screen. The notch will rotate 180 degrees to avoid pinching the tissue marker. To minimize migration, both the probe and tissue marker applicator are removed from the breast as one unit. Compression is applied in the biopsy area. The entry point is covered with a gauze and an ice bag to continue compressing. Wound closure strips are used and a compression bandage is added that will remain in place for 24 hours.